We've done a lot of videos using uh, level 3A, level 2 vest, uh, soft Kevlar. Does a great job against conventional bullets. Um, we've shot it with the 5.7. Today we are taking the gloves off and there is no weight class. We are going to shoot a 230 grain 45 ACP versus a 40 grain 5.7. But we're not going to shoot this vest. We are shooting a concrete block. We're going to shoot the 5.7 over here. We're going to shoot the 45 here. I really don't think either one of them is going to do a whole lot to it, but we'll see. Now, I'm going to use the 40 grain 5.7. Uh, it's a full metal jacket. I think that little bit of extra weight will help it do more against the concrete. If it doesn't, I'll throw some uh, 198 green tips in. Anyway, let's see how this pans out. Okay, we're going to start off on the left side of the block there, and we'll be shooting that 5.7 through my PSA rock. We'll see if we can zoom up there. We're going to send two in there. I've got safety glasses and stuff on because I'm not a big fan of shooting cops. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. We'll jump over on the other side and shoot the 45. I'm going to be shooting the 45 through an 8.5 inch barreled pistol. So we will see how this pans out. Let's just walk up there and take a look. That 40 grain did a pretty good job, and there's a crack running the lengthwise. I'd say one more round in there, and that block would bust. Uh, the 45, that old big 230 grain bullet, it did manage to make it through, and uh, Hit it right back here. Let's shoot this uh, with some green tip. I'll flip it around on the other side. There's the inside of this, uh, the block. That 5.7 hit it. It did hit it really hard. We're going to hit it with some green tips over here. And see how that works. Alright, I've got two green tips loaded up here. We're going to do the same thing that we did with that 40 grain federal full metal jacket well I would say the green tip works better on concrete blocks and it works a lot better on level 3a armor so so far the green tip is kicking it. We're gonna set up one more block. We're gonna hit it with a 300 blackout, 150 grain full metal jacket. Okay, we got another block up there. I've got my 300 blackout with 150 grain full metal jacket. Uh, one thing about it, if you do ever have to shoot concrete blocks, wear safety glasses. I am getting pelted like crazy. Anyway, here we go. We'll zoom on that. That was kind of the result I was expecting. And we will just walk up there and take a look at that. Yeah. If you do need to shoot concrete blocks, buildings, or structures, a rifle is the way to go. But uh, that green tip 5.7, it, it did a really good job on that block. Anyway, I tell you what. We'll just put two more green tips on this, just in case anybody says that the back of that other block uh, was compromised. So we'll do that right now. I loaded up two more 198 green tips. And we're going to shoot the left side of that block that's not compromised. We'll 
just walk right up there. I'll take you all with me. Well, let's hit it two more times with the green tip. That block being compromised on the first round may have made it fall apart a little faster, but we're going to see real quick. I have no doubt that these two green tips are probably going to make it through. That made a hole in it. That made a bigger hole in it. All right. There you have it. Anywho, uh, if you got to shoot through concrete blocks, I'd suggest just turning around and getting the hell out of Dodge while somebody's hiding behind it. But anyhow, that's how these uh, four, the 5.7, the 45, and the 300 blackout perform against concrete cinder blocks. Guys, thanks so much for watching.